the two main keys to keeping fish are nutrition and water quality. And it's the filters that maintain your water quality. So you feed your fish a high quality food and make sure you don't overfeed them. Then your fish are gonna produce waste. Waste is in the form of ammonia. The ammonia breaks down by bacteria, which grows in your filter into nitrite. Then another bacteria also grows in your filter, which breaks the nitrite into nitrate. And the nitrate is far, far less toxic. You can do water changes to get rid of the nitrate or advanced filter medias can actually get rid of the nitrate over time. It's really important when the water comes out of the filter, it needs to agitate the surface of the aquarium to allow gas exchange because the water coming out of the filter is often very low in oxygen. So make sure the outlet of your filter is agitating the surface so it provides a process of reoxygenation. And that must work along with either a power head or an air stone which is going to provide oxygen for the fish, especially if you're gonna have a heavily stocked tank. There are various different types of filters you can get for your aquarium, but in general, try and make your filter a little bit larger if possible. It might cost a little bit more, but it's gonna lower your maintenance and you're gonna be much happier with it in the long run. It's also gonna allow you to have more fish in the aquarium. So for the smaller aquariums, you can get these little internal filters, which are perfect for a small aquarium because they're extremely reliable, quiet and inexpensive. If you're gonna get a much larger aquarium, you really wanna look at some of these large canister filters. And the bigger the filter, the happier you're gonna be with it in the long run. Three main types of filter media that you can put in your filter. There's biological filtration, which means you're growing bacteria to break down the waste from the fish, which is the most important. There's also mechanical media, which means you're trapping the particles out of the water and then those particles are removed while you're cleaning the filter. And then there's also chemical filtration. And the chemical filtration will polish the water and remove various toxins and pollutants from the water. The best filters are the ones that combine all three different types of media. In order for your filter to maintain at its capacity, it does need to be serviced. And when you're servicing it, what you're trying to do is free up any detritus that may have built up in it, you're not trying to clean it hospital clean. So the way you want to clean your filter is take it apart, um, get a bucket of water that you drain out of the fish tank, rinse the filter material in the water from the fish tank, then put the media back into the filter and fill the filter up again with water from the fish tank. What you don't ever want to do is introduce tap water, because a lot of tap water has got chlorine and chloramone, which can kill the good bacteria that you're actually trying to grow in your filter to stabilize your aquarium. And that can be catastrophic because if you've got a whole tank full of fish and they're relying on the bacteria that grows in the filter, which has grown up slowly over time, then you've killed it with chlorinated tap water. All the fish are producing waste. There's no bacteria in the filter to break down the waste and you can literally lose all your fish. So it's really important to clean your filter with water from the fish tank and not water from the tap. Always remember that every aquarium has a capacity, so it can handle a certain amount of fish in the aquarium. And the filter is one of the key factors that governs the capacity. So basically, bigger filters allow you to have more fish and potentially less maintenance. So have a good chat with your local aquarium dealer and get advice on the right filter to suit what you want to do with your aquarium. Mm -hmm.